Groenlinks Dutch pronunciation, Run Elks, English, Green Left, West Frisian, Green Links, GL, is a green political party in the Netherlands. It was formed on 1 March 1989 from the merger of four left-wing parties, the Communist Party of the Netherlands, the Pacifist Socialist Party, the Political Party of Radicals and the Evangelical People's Party. After disappointing results in the 1989 and 1994 general elections, the nascent party fared particularly well in the 1998 and 2002 elections. The party's leader at that time, Paul Rosenmuller, was seen as the unofficial leader of the opposition against the first COP cabinet, a purple government. Groenlinks describes itself as green, social, and Tolerant. The party holds 14 seats in the House of Representatives, five in the Senate, and two in the European Parliament. The current leader of Groenlinks and chair of the House Parliamentary Group is Jesse Claver. The party is in opposition against the governing Third Rutter cabinet. The party has over 100 local councillors and it participates in the government of 16 of the 20 largest municipalities. The party's voters are concentrated in larger cities, especially those with a university. The party has 21,901 members which are organized in over 250 municipal branches. The party congress is open to all members. Groenlinks is a member of the Global Greens and the European Green Party. The party's number of seats fell from 10 to 4 seats in the 2012 election, before increasing to 14 in the 2017 general election. History Before 1989, predecessors Groenlinks was founded in 1989 as a merger of four parties that were to the left of the Labour Party PVDA, a social democratic party which has traditionally been the largest centre-left party in the Netherlands. The founding parties were the De Stalinized Communist Party of the Netherlands CPN, the Pacifist Socialist Party PSP, which originated in the peace movement, the Green Influence Political Party of Radicals PPR, originally a progressive Christian party, and the Progressive Christian Evangelical People's Party. These four parties were frequently classified as small left to indicate their marginal existence. In the 1972 general election these parties won 16 seats out of 150, in the 1977 general election they only won 6. From that moment on, members and voters began to argue for close cooperation. From the 1980s onwards the four parties started to cooperate in municipal and provincial elections. As fewer seats are available in these representations, a higher percentage of votes is required to gain a seat. In the 1984 European election, the PPR, CPN and PSP formed the Green Progressive Accord that entered as one into the European elections. They gained one seat, which rotated between the PSP and PPR. Party members of the four parties also encountered each other in grassroots extra-parliamentary protest against nuclear energy and nuclear weapons. More than 80% of the members of the PSP, CPN and PPR attended at least one of the two mass protests against the placement of nuclear weapons, which took place in 1981 and 1983. The Evangelical People's Party was a relatively new party, founded in 1981, as a splinter group from the Christian Democratic Appeal, the largest party of the Dutch centre-right. During its period in Parliament, 1982–1986, it had trouble positioning itself between the small left parties PSP, PPR and CPN, the PVDA and the CDA. 
The increasingly close cooperation between PPR, PSP, CPN and EVP, and the ideological change that accompanied it was not without internal dissent within the parties. The ideological change that CPN made from official communism to reformism led to a split in the CPN, and the subsequent founding of the League of Communists in the Netherlands in 1982. In 1983, a group of deep Greens split from the PPR to found the Greens. The CPN and the PPR wanted to form an electoral alliance with the PSP for the 1986 elections. This led to a crisis within the PSP, in which chair of the parliamentary party, Fraktievoorzitter Fred van der Speck, who opposed cooperation, was replaced by André van S., who favoured cooperation. Van der Speck left the PSP to found his own party for socialism and disarmament. The 1986 PSP Congress, however, rejected the electoral alliance. In the 1986 general election, all four parties lost seats. The CPN and the EVP disappeared from Parliament. The PPR was left with two and the PSP with one seat. While the parties were preparing to enter in the 1990 elections separately, the pressure to cooperate increased. In 1989, the PPR, CPN and PSP entered the 1989 European Parliament election with a single list, called the Rainbow. Jo Slagendijk and Leo Platfett, both PSP party board members, initiated an internal referendum in which the members of the PSP declared to support left-wing cooperation, 70% in favor, 64% of all members voting. Their initiative for left-wing cooperation was supported by an open letter from influential members of trade unions such as Paul Rosenmuller and Karen Adelmond, of environmental movements e.g., Jacqueline Kramer, and from arts such as Rudy van Danzig. This letter called for the formation of a single progressive party to the left of the Labour Party. Lagendijk and Platfit had been taking part in informal meetings between prominent PSP, PPR, and CPN members, who favoured cooperation. Other participants were PPR chairman Bram van Ogik and former CPN leader Ina Brouwer. These talks were called FC Citadia. Or cliché BV, in the spring of 1989, the PSP party board initiated formal talks between the CPN, the PSP and the PPR about a common list for the upcoming general elections. It soon became clear that the CPN wanted to maintain an independent communist identity and not merge into a new left-wing formation. This was reason for the PPR leaving the talks. Negotiations about cooperation were reopened after the fall of the second Lubbers cabinet and the announcement that elections would be held in the autumn of that year. This time the EVP was included in the discussion. The PPR was represented for a short while by an informal delegation led by former chair Vim de Boer, because the party board did not want to be seen re-entering the negotiations it had left only a short while earlier. In the summer of 1989, the party congresses of all four parties accepted to enter the elections with a shared program and list of candidates. Additionally, the association Greenleft Dutch, Groenlinks, VGL, was set up to allow sympathizers, not member of any of the four parties to join. Meanwhile, the European elections of 1989 were held, in which the same group of parties had entered as a single list under the name, Rainbow. In practice, the merger of the parties had now happened and the party Greenleft was officially founded on 24 November 1990. 1989–1994, completion of the merge and first term in Parliament In the 1989 elections, the PPR, PSP, CPN and EVP entered in the elections with one single list called Groenlinks. 
In the Netherlands, parties usually participate in the elections with one list for the whole country. The candidates on top of the list get the priority for the distribution of seats won. The Green Left list of candidates was organized in such a way that all the parties were represented and new figures could enter. The PPR, which had been the largest party in 1986 got the top candidate the Leestrecker, Rhea Beckers and the number 5, the PSP got the numbers 2 and 6, the CPN the number 3 and the EVP number 11. The first independent candidate was Paul Rosenmuller, trade unionist from Rotterdam, on the fourth place. In the elections, the party doubled its seats in comparison to 1986 from 3 to 6, but the expectations had been much higher. In the 1990 municipal elections, the party fared much better, strengthening the resolve to cooperate. In the period 1989 to 1991, the merger developed further. A board was organized for the party in foundation and also a Green Left Council, which was supposed to control the board and the parliamentary party and stimulate the process of merger. In this council, all five groups, CPN, PPR, PSP, EVP and the Vereeniging Groen Links, had seats on ratio of the number of their members. Originally, the three youth organizations, the CPN-linked General Dutch Youth League, the PSP-linked Pacifist Socialist Young Working Groups and the PPR-linked Political Party of Radical Youth refused to merge, but under pressure of the government who controlled their subsidies, they did merge to form DWARS. In 1990, some opposition formed against the moderate, green course of Green Left. Several former PSP members united in the ''Left Forum''. In 1992 they would leave the party to join former PSP leader Van der Speck to found the PSP 92. Similarly, former members of the CPN joined the League of Communists in the Netherlands to found the new Communist Party in the same year. In 1991, the congresses of the four founding parties PSP, PPR, CPN and EVP decided to officially abolish their parties. Green Left had considerable problems formulating its own ideology. In 1990, the attempt to write the first manifesto of principles failed because of the difference between socialists and communists on the one side and the more liberal former PPR members on the other side. The Second Manifesto of Principles, which was not allowed to be called that, was adopted after a lengthy debate and many amendments in 1991. Although the party was internally divided, the Green Left Parliamentary Party was the only party in the Dutch Parliament which opposed the Gulf War. A debate within the party about the role military intervention led to a more nuanced standpoint than the pacifism of some of its predecessors. Green Left would support peacekeeping missions as long as they were mandated by the United Nations. In the fall of 1990, MEP Verbeek announced that he would not, as he had promised, leave the European Parliament after two and a half years to make room for a new candidate. He would continue as an independent and remain in Parliament until 1994. In the 1994 European elections, he would run unsuccessfully as top candidate of the Greens. In 1992, party leader Rhea Beckers left the House of Representatives because she wanted more private time. Peter Lankhorst replaced her as chair ad interim, but he announced that he would not take part in the internal elections. Topic: 1994 to 2002 opposition during the Purple Cabinets. Before the general election of 1994, Green Left organized an internal election on the party's political leadership. 
Two duos entered, Ina Brower, former CPN, combined with Mohamed Rabe, independent, while Paul Rosenmoller, independent, formed a combination with Leonie Sipkas, former PSP. There were also five individual candidates, including Vim de Boa, former chair of the PPR and member of the Senate, Herman Meyer, former CPN, future chair of the party, and Inika van Gent, former PSP and future MP. Some some candidates ran in duos because they wanted to combine family life with politics. Brower, Rosenmoller and Sipkas already were MPs for Greenleft, whilst Rabe was new, he had been chair of the Dutch Centre for Foreigners. In the first round, the duos ended up ahead of the others, but neither had an absolute majority. A second round was needed, in which Brower and Rabe won with 51%. Brouwer became the first candidate and Rabe second, the second duo Rosenmoller and Sipkas occupied the following place followed by Marijke Voss, former chair of the party. The idea of a dual top candidacy did not communicate well to the voters. Green left lost one seat, leaving only five. Yet in the same election, the centre-left Labour Party also lost a lot of seats. After the disappointing elections, Brower left Parliament. She was replaced as party leader by Paul Rosenmoller and her seat was taken by Tara Singh Varma. The charismatic Rosenmoller became the unofficial leader of the opposition against the first Koch cabinet because the largest opposition party, the Christian Democratic Appeal, was unable to adapt well to its new role as opposition party. Rosenmoller set out a new strategy. Green left should offer alternatives instead of only rejecting the proposals made by the government. In the 1998 general election, Green left more than doubled its seats to 11. The charisma of unofficial leader Rosenmoller played an important role in this. Many new faces entered parliament, including Femke Halsema, a political talent who had left the Labour Party for Green Left in 1997. The party began to speculate openly about joining government after the elections of 2002. The 1999 Kosovo War divided the party internally. The Parliamentary Party in the House of Representatives supported the NATO intervention, while the Senate Parliamentary Party was against the intervention. Several former PSP members within the House of Representatives Parliamentary Party began to openly speak out their doubts about the intervention. A compromise was found, Green Left would support the intervention as long as it limited itself to military targets. Prominent members of the founding parties, including Marcus Backer and Duke Vogt, left the party over this issue. In February 2001, Roel van Duijn and a few former members of the Greens joined Green Left. In 2001, the integrity of former MP Tara Singh Varma came into doubt. It was revealed that she had lied about her illness and that she had made promises to development organizations which she did not fulfill. In 2000, she had left Parliament because as she claimed, she had only a few months to live before she would die of cancer. The TROS program, Opgelicht, in English, framed, revealed that she had lied and that she did not have cancer. Later, she apologized on public television and claimed she suffered from post traumatic stress disorder. In the same year, the Parliamentary Party supported the invasion of Afghanistan after the terrorist attacks of September 11. This invasion led to great upheaval within the party. Several former PSP members within the House of Representatives Parliamentary Party began to openly speak out their doubts about the intervention. Under pressure of internal opposition, led by former PSP members and the party's youth organization DWARS, the Parliamentary Party changed its position, the attacks should be cancelled. <laughs> 2002 present The 2002 general election was characterized by changes in the political climate. 
The right-wing populist political commentator Pim Fortune entered into politics. He had an anti-establishment message, combined with a call for restrictions on immigration. Although his critique was oriented at the second Koch cabinet, Rosenmüller was one of the few politicians who could muster some resistance against his message. Days before the election, Fortune was assassinated. A. Flat Haravine, Groenlinks MP and candidate also died. Before and after the elections serious threats were made against Rosenmüller, his wife and his children. These events caused considerable stress for Rosenmüller. Groenlinks lost one seat in the election, although it had gained more votes than in the 1998 elections. Before the 2003 general election Rosenmüller left Parliament, citing the ongoing threats against his life and those of his family as the main reason. He was replaced as chair of the parliamentary party and top candidate by Femke Halsema. She was unable to keep ten seats and lost two. In 2003, Greenleft almost unanimously turned against the Iraq War. It took part in the protests against the war, for instance by organizing its party congress in Amsterdam at the day of the large demonstration, with an interval allowing its members to join the protest. At the end of 2003, Halsema temporarily left Parliament to give birth to her twins. During her absence, Marriage K. Voss took her place as chair of the parliamentary party. When she returned to Parliament, Halsema started a discussion about the principles of her party. She emphasized individual freedom, tolerance, self realization, and emancipation. In one interview, she called her party, the last liberal party of the Netherlands. This led to considerable attention of media and other observers, which speculated about an ideological change. In 2005 the party's scientific bureau published the book, Vrahid al-Sidiral, Freedom as Ideal, in which prominent opinion makers explored the new political space and the position of the left within that space. During the Congress of February 2007 the party board was ordered to organize a party-wide discussion about the party's principles. During the European Elections Congress of 2004, the candidacy committee proposed that the chair of the Greenleft delegation, Joost Lagendijk, should become the party's top candidate in those elections. A group of members, led by Senator Leo Platfit, submitted a motion, "We want to choose they wanted a serious choice for such an important office. The party's board announced a new electoral procedure. During the Congress Kathalene Bouton Vaig, an MEP and candidate, announced wish to be considered for the position of top candidate. She narrowly won the elections from Lagendijk. This came as a great surprise to all. Especially for Bhutan Vaig, who had not written an acceptance speech and read out Lagendijk's. In May 2005, MP Farah Karimi wrote a book in which discussed in detail how she had taken part in the Iranian Revolution. Because this information was already known by the party board, this did not lead to any upheaval. In November 2005, the party board asked Senator Sam Pormis to give up his seat. Continuing rumors about his involvement with guerrilla training in Yemen in the 1970s and the 1977 train hijacking by Moluccan youth and allegations of welfare fraud were harmful for the party, or at least so the party board claimed. When Pormis refused to step down, the party board threatened to expel him. Pormis fought this decision. The Party Council of March 2006 sided with Pormis. Party Chair Hermann Meyer felt forced to resign. He was succeeded by Henk Niehoff who was chosen by the Party Council in May 2006. In November 2006 Pormis left the Senate, he was replaced by Guz Mindeman. In the 2006 Dutch municipal election, the party stayed relatively stable, losing only a few seats. After the elections Greenleft took part in 75 local executives, including Amsterdam where MP Marijke Vos became an alderwoman. In preparation of the 2006 general election the party held a congress in October. 
It elected Halsema, again the only candidate, as the party's top candidate. MEP Kathalene Bhutan Vague and comedian Vincent Bilo were last candidates. In the 2006 elections, the party lost one seat. In the subsequent cabinet formation, an initial exploratory round among the Christian Democratic Appeal (CDA), Labour Party (PVDA), and Socialist Party (SP) failed. Halsema announced that Green Left would not be involved in further discussion at that point in time, as the party lost was too small and had less in common with CDA than the SP had. Following this decision an internal debate about the political course and the leadership of Halsema re-erupted. The debate does not just concern the series of lost elections and the decision not to participate in the formation talks, but also the elitist image of the party, the new liberal course, initiated by Halsema, and the lack of party democracy. Since the last weeks of January 2007 several prominent party members have voiced their doubts including former leader Ina Brower, Senator Leo Plattfit and MEP Joost Lagendijk. In reaction to this the party board has set up a commission led by former MP and chair of the PPR Bram van Ojik. They looked into the lost series of elections. In the summer of 2007 another committee was formed to organize a larger debate about the course of the party's principles, organization and strategy. Van Ojik also led this committee. The committee implemented a motion already adopted by the party's Congress in 2006 to re-evaluate the party's principle in light of the party's course started by Halsema Ion 2004. Over the course of 2007 and 2008 the committee organized an internal debate about the party's principles, organization and strategy. In November 2008 this led to the adoption of a new manifesto of principles. In August 2008, Greenleft parliamentarian Wijnand Divendak published a book in which he admitted to a burglary of the Ministry of Economic Affairs in order to steal plans for nuclear power plants. This led to his resignation on 14 August, after media reported that the burglary also led to threats against civil servants. He was replaced by Jolande Sapp. In 2008, MEPs Joost Lagendijk and Kathalene Bouton Vaig announced that they would not seek a new term in the European Parliament. The party had to elect a new top candidate for the 2009 European elections. There were five candidates for this position, Amsterdam City Councillor Judith Sargentini, former MEP Alexander de Roo, Senator Tineke Strick, environmental researcher Bas Eichhout and Niels van den Berger assistant of MEP Bouton Vague. In an internal referendum Sargentini was elected. The party congress put Eichhout on a second position on the list. On 18 April 2010, the Party Congress composed the list of candidates for the 2010 general election. Two sitting MPs Inika van Gent and Femke Halsema were granted dispensation to stand for a fourth term. Halsema was re-elected as party leader. Van Gent was put as fifth on the party list. All of the first five candidates were sitting MPs and four were women. Their other high newcomers were former Greenpeace director Lisbeth van Tongeren and chairman of CNV Youth Jesse Claver. The party won 10 seats in the election and participated in the formation talks of a green, purple government. Halsema resigned as party leader when these talks failed and was succeeded by Jolande Sapp. In the 2012 general election, Groenlinks lost six seats and was left with four out of 150 seats. Following the disappointing result, Sapp was forced to resign as party leader and was succeeded by Bram van Ojik, who in turn handed his position to Jesse Claver in 2015. Under Claver's leadership, Groenlinks gradually rose in polls before climbing to an all-time high of 14 seats in the 2017 general election. 
The party entered coalition talks with the People's Party for Freedom and Democracy, the Christian Democratic Appeal and Democrats 66, but these talks did not lead to a new cabinet. Topic. Name The name, Groenlinks, until 1992, Groenlinks, with a space between Groen and Links, is a compromise between the PPR and the CPN and the PSP. The PPR wanted the word, Green, in the name of the party, the PSP and the CPN the word, Left. It also emphasizes the core ideals of the party, environmental sustainability and social justice. In 1984, the common list of the PPR, PSP and CPN for the 1984 European elections was called Green Progressive Accord. At that time the PPR did not want to accept the word left in the name of the political combination. The parties had entered in the 1989 European elections as the Rainbow Region Boog, in reference to the Rainbow Group in the European Parliament between 1984 and 1989. Ideology and issues Ideology The party combines green and left-wing ideals. The core ideals of green left are codified in the party's program of principles called Partij voor de Tokomist, Party for the Future. The party places itself in the freedom-loving tradition of the left. Its principles include the protection of the earth, ecosystems and a respectful treatment of animals. A fair distribution of natural resources between all citizens of the world and all generations. A just distribution of income and fair chance for everyone to work, care, education and recreation. A pluralist society where everyone can participate in freedom. The party combines openness with a sense of community. Strengthening the international rule of law, in order to ensure peace and respect for human rights, the party's principles reflect the ideological convergence between the four founding parties which came from different ideological traditions, the political party of radicals and the evangelical people's party, from a progressive Christian tradition, and the pacifist socialist party and the communist party of the Netherlands from the socialist and communist traditions. Over the course of the 1970s and 1980s, the parties had come to embrace environmentalism and feminism, they all favored democratization of society and had opposed the creation of new nuclear plants and the placement of new nuclear weapons in the Netherlands. Halsema, the former political leader of the party, has started a debate about the ideological course of Green Left. She emphasized the freedom-loving tradition of the left and chose freedom as a key value. Her course is called left liberal by herself and observers, although Halsema herself claims that she does not want to force an ideological change. Following Isaiah Berlin, Halsema distinguishes between positive and negative freedom. According to Halsema, negative freedom is the freedom of citizens from government influence. She applies this concept especially to the multicultural society and the Rechtsstaat, where the government should protect the rights of citizens and not limit them. Positive freedom is the emancipation of citizens from poverty and discrimination. Halsema wants to apply this concept to welfare state and the environment where government should take more action. According to Halsema, Green Left is an undogmatic party. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Proposals. The election manifesto for the 2010 elections was adopted in April of that year. It was titled "Clavor de Tokomist," prepared for the future. 
The manifesto emphasizes international cooperation, welfare state reform, environmental policy and social tolerance. Green Left considers itself a social reform party, which aims to reform the government finances and increase the position of outsiders on the labor market, such as migrant youth, single parents, workers with short-term contracts and people with disabilities. It disagrees with the parties on the right which, in the eyes of Green Left, were only oriented towards cutting costs and did not offer the worst off a chance for work, emancipation and participation. But, unlike the other opposition parties of the left, the party does not want to defend the current welfare state, which the party calls, "...powerless", because it merely offers the worst off a benefit rather than prospects for work. The party wants to reform the Dutch welfare state so it will benefit, "...outsiders", those who have been excluded from the welfare state until now. To increase employment, the Green Left proposes a participation contract, where unemployment recipients sign an agreement with their local council to become involved in volunteer work, schooling, or work experience projects, for which they get paid minimum wage. The unemployment benefit should be increased and limited to one year. In this period, people would have to look for a job or education. If at the end of the year one should not succeed in finding a job, the government will offer one a job for the minimum wage. In order to create more employment, they want to implement the green tax shift which will lower taxes on lower paid labor. This would be compensated by higher taxes on pollution. In order to increase prospects for the underprivileged, it wants to invest in education, especially the VMBO middle level vocational education. In order to ensure that migrants have a better chance for jobs, it wants to deal firmly with discrimination, especially on the labor market. The party wants to decrease income differences by making child benefits. The party favors reform of government pensions. After 45 years of employment, one should get the right to a pension. If one starts working young, one is able to stop working earlier than if one starts working when one is older. Receiving unemployment or disability benefits is counted as work, as is caring for children or family members. The system of mortgage interest deductions should be abolished over a 40 year period. International cooperation is an important theme for the party. This includes development cooperation with underdeveloped countries. Green Left wants to increase spending on development aid to 0.8% of the gross national product. It wants to open the European markets to goods from third world countries, under conditions of fair trade. In order to ensure free and fair trade, it wants to increase and democratize international economic organizations such as the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank. The party also favors greater international control over financial markets. Green Left favors European integration, but is critical about the current policies of the European Commission. It favored the European Constitution, but after it was voted down in the 2005 referendum, Green Left advocated a new treaty which emphasized democracy and subsidiarity. The party is critical about the war against terrorism. It wants to strengthen the peacekeeping powers of the United Nations and reform the Dutch armed forces into a peace force, with the functions of NATO to be taken over by the European Union and the United Nations. Green Left wants to solve environmental problems, especially climate change, by stimulating durable alternatives. The party wants to use taxes and emissions trading to stimulate alternative energy as an alternative to both fossil fuel and nuclear plants. It wants to close all nuclear plants in the Netherlands and impose a tax on the use of coal in energy production, in order to discourage the building of new coal based power plants. Moreover, it wants to stimulate energy saving. It wants to invest in clean public transport, as an alternative to private transport. 
Investments in public transport can be financed by not expanding highways and imposing tolls on the use of roads called reckoning riding. The party wants to stimulate organic farming through taxes as an alternative to industrial agriculture. Moreover, Green Left wants to codify animal rights in the constitution. Green Left values individual freedom and the rule of law. The party wants to legalize soft drugs. It wants to protect civil rights on the Internet by extending constitutional protection for free communication to email and other modern technologies. It also favors a reform of copyright to allow non-commercial reproduction and the use of open source software in the public sector. In the long term, it seeks to abolish the monarchy and create a republic. It also favors a reduction of the size of the government bureaucracy, for instance by decreasing the number of Dutch ministries and abolishing the Senate. Finally, Green Left favors liberal immigration and asylum policies. It wants to empower victims of human trafficking by giving them a residence permit and it wants to abolish the income requirements for marriage migration. Topic: Electoral results. Topic: Parliament States General Staten General. Topic: Provincial elections Provincial Staten. Topic: European Parliament. Topic: Representation and support. Topic: Overview. This table shows the results of Green Left elections to the House of Representatives Hall, Senate S, European Parliament EP, States Provincial SP, and Municipal GR elections, as well as the number of politicians in Provincial GS and Local Executives Aldermen. It also shows the party's political leadership, the Fraktionsvorsitzende, the chair of the parliamentary party and the Leestrekker the party's top candidate in the general election. These posts are normally taken by the party leader. The member count and the partijvorzita, the chair of the party's organization are also shown. The party chair has an organizational function and is not part of the political leadership of the party. <laughs> Members of the House of Representatives Following the 2017 elections, the party now has 14 seats in the House of Representatives Jesse Claver, current parliamentary group leader. Spokesperson on social affairs and education. In Parliament since 2010. He was chair of the youth organization of the CNV before entering Parliament. Rick Grashoff Lisbeth van Tongeren, spokesperson on the environment. In Parliament since 2010. She was director of the Dutch branch of Greenpeace before entering Parliament. Linda Vortman Kathleen Booten Vague Isabel Dix Corinne Elamiet Suzanne Kroger Tom van der Lee Bram van Ogik Zini Osdal Nevin Azutok Bart Snells Lisa Westerveld Members of the Senate Following the 2015 elections the party has four representatives in the Senate Tineke Strick, Senate Group Leader she is spokesperson on home affairs, foreign affairs and social affairs. 
She has been a Senate member since 2007. In addition to her membership of the Senate, she is a legal researcher. She was an alderwoman in Wageningen for Green Left. Ruud Ganzevoort, theologist and professor at the Free University in Amsterdam. Senate member since 2011. Fritz Lindmeier Marriage K. Voss, former MP and alderwoman in Amsterdam. Senate member since 2011. Topic: Members of the European Parliament. Current members of the European Parliament since the European parliamentary election of 2014. Bas Eichhout, chair of the Green Left delegation, member of the Committee on the Environment, Public Health and Food Safety and substitute for the Committee on Agriculture and Rural Development. Judith Sargentini, member of the Committee on Civil Liberties, Justice and Home Affairs of the European Parliament and substitute for the Committee on Development. Municipal and provincial government On the municipal level, the party provides eight mayors out of 414, as of December 2008, in smaller municipalities such as Blumondal, Diemen and Wermeland, these are also appointed by the Minister of the Interior. Green Left did not perform particularly well in the 2006 municipal elections, losing 14 of its 415 seats, making it the fourth largest party in the Netherlands on the municipal level. In the formation of municipal executives, it was more successful and the number of municipal executives Green Left was part of grew from around 70 to around 100. It is part of the municipal executive of several larger cities notably Nijmegen, Utrecht, The Hague, Leiden, Rotterdam and Amsterdam, where former MP Marriage K. Voss was alderwoman. Green Left has 70 members of borough-level legislatures, 53 in Amsterdam and 17 in Rotterdam. On the provincial level, Green Left has provided one Queen's Commissioner out of 12 in North Holland. Queen's Commissioners are appointed by the Minister of the Interior. Green Left is part of the North Holland Provincial Executive. It holds 51 seats in provincial legislatures. In the following figure one can see the election results of the provincial election of 2007 per province. It shows the areas where Green Left is strong, namely the urban areas like North Holland and Utrecht. The party is weaker in rural provinces like Friesland and Zeeland, but also strong in rural Groningen, where the Communist Party of the Netherlands, one of the founding parties of Green Left was very strong. Topic: Electorate. As can be seen on the map on the right, Green Left tends to do particularly well in larger cities, especially ones that host a university, such as Amsterdam, where it scored 12.5%, Utrecht 12.2%, and Wageningen 11.8%, Nijmegen 10.4%, and Leiden 10.0%. More women vote for Green Left than men by a margin of 20%. The party also disproportionately appeals to homosexual voters. The party also polls well among migrant voters, especially those from Turkey and Morocco, where its support is twice as high as in the general population. Green Left voters have an eccentric position in their preferences for particular policies. Between 1989 and 2003 they were the most left-wing voters in the Netherlands, often a little more to the left than voters of the SP. These voters are in favour of the redistribution of wealth, free choice for euthanasia, opening the borders for asylum seekers, the multicultural society and are firmly against building new nuclear plants. Style and campaign The logo of Green Left is the name of the party with the word, ''Green'' 
written in red and the word left written in green since 1994. Additional colors used in the logo are white, yellow and blue. An earlier logo, used between 1989 and 1994, and which can be seen on the poster above showed a variation of a peace sign projected on a green triangle on which PPRPSPCPNEVP was written and next to it green left in green and pink. Many well-known Dutch people have supported green left election campaigns. In 1989, choreographer Rudy van Danzig and writer Astrid Roma were last candidates. In 2006, comedian Vincent Bilo shared this position with MEP Kathalene Boutin Vaig. Comedian Sara Cross, rapper Raimster, astronaut Wubbo Ockels, and soccer player Khalid Belarus, businessman Harry De Winter, journalist Anil Ramdas, actress Kim Van Kooten, comedian Sanna Wallace de Vries, comedian Herman Finkers, artist Herman Van Veen, soccer player columnist Jan Mulder, and writer Geert Mack have also committed their name to part of the 2006 or 2007 Green Left election campaign. In 2004, singer Ellen Ten Dammer, poet Rutger Copland, and presenter Martin Crabbe supported the European election campaign. From 2007 onwards, Groenlinks has adopted the idea of a permanent campaign, which implies that campaign activities are held even when there is no immediate connection to an election. Permanent campaign activities are intended to create and maintain a base level of sympathy and knowledge about the party platform. The introduction of guerrilla gardening in the Netherlands in 2008 was heavily supported by Greenleft, as part of the permanent campaign. Organization <laughs> 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 Topic: Organizational structure. The highest organ of Green Left is the Party Congress, which is open to all members. The Congress elects the party board. It decides on the order of the candidates for national and European elections, and it has a final say over the party platform. The Congress convenes at least once every year in spring or when needed. The party board consists of 15 members who are elected for a two-year term. The chairperson of this board is the only paid position on the board, the others are unpaid. The chairperson together with four other board members the vice chair, the treasurer, the secretary, the European secretary and the international secretary handles the daily affairs and meet every two weeks while the other ten board members meet only once a month. For the months that the Congress does not convene, a party council takes over its role. It consists out of 80 representatives of all the 250 municipal branches. The party board and the nationally elected representatives of the party are responsible to the party council. It has the right to fill vacancies in the board, make changes to the party constitution, and takes care of the party's finances. Green left MPs face relatively strong regulation. MPs are not allowed to run for more than three terms, and a relatively high percentage of the income of MPs is taken by the party. Green left has 250 branches in nearly all Dutch municipalities and each province. There are multiple municipalities in Amsterdam and Rotterdam, where every borough has its own branch and they have federal branches at the municipal level. Branches enjoy considerable independence, and take care of their own campaigns, lists of candidates and programs for elections. Provincial congresses meet at least every year and municipal congresses more often. The total number of members of Greenleft has been steadily increasing over the last 10 years and had 23,490 members in of January 2007. There are several independent organizations which are linked to Greenleft. DWARS, the independent youth organization of Greenleft. De Linkawang, the left cheek. 
Platform for Religion and Politics, which is a progressive Christian platform, which was formed by former members of the Evangelical People's Party. Scientific Bureau Greenleft, the independent political think tank which publishes De Helling, Dutch for The Slope. Pinkleft, an LGBT organization for Greenleft members. Greenleft is also active on the European and the global stage. It is a founding member of the European Green Party and the Global Greens. Its MEPs sit in the Greens European Free Alliance Group. Greenleft cooperates with seven other Dutch parties in the Netherlands Institute for Multiparty Democracy, an institute which supports democratic development in developing countries. Relationships to other parties Greenleft was founded as a mid-sized party to the left of the Labour Party In the 1994 elections, the Socialist Party also entered Parliament. Greenleft now takes a central position in the Dutch left between the Socialist SP, which is more to the left, and the Social Democratic PVDA, which is more to the centre. This position is exemplified by the call of Femke Halsema to form a left-wing coalition after the 2006 elections, knowing that such a coalition is only possible with Greenleft. The electoral alliance between SP and GL in the 1998, 2002 and 2006 elections, and between Greenleft and PVDA in the 2004 European elections are examples of this position. In the 2007 first chamber election, it had an electoral alliance with the Party for the Animals. More and more, however, Greenleft is seen as the most culturally progressive of the three parties. See also Members of the House of Representatives of the Netherlands for Greenleft, 1989–present Green Party Green Politics List of environmental organisations <laughs>